display good sportsmanship. Please do your part by showing respect to everyone involved in today's contest. Also, we ask that everyone in attendance wear a mask or social distance throughout the game. A friendly reminder that student athletes play the game. Coaches coach, fans support their team, and officials manage the game and sometimes make the calls that they may not agree with. With that being said, inappropriate behavior, language, or verbal criticism of coaches, players, and officials will not be tolerated and may, may result in your removing from the gymnasium. This game is being played according to the rules of the National Federation of State High School Associations. We would like to thank our platinum sponsors for their support and generosity. Our platinum sponsors are Bethel, Bethel Medical Group, Everett's Auto Parts, Lambert's Auto Repair, Woodward's Auto Spring Shop, Madison Food Group, and Torrey and Associates Real Estate. Lastly, I ask that we all stop what we are doing to honor the Rockton High School student who lost his life two evenings ago in a moment of silence. Thank you. Our thoughts and prayers go out to their friends and family. And now, starting lineups for tonight, starting with East Bridgewater Vikings. Number four, Lucy Schneider. Number five, Sophie Bradbury. Number 10, Captain Erin Condon. Number 23, Kaylee Murphy. And number 24, Vivi Cotillo. And now, the starting lineup here for Octon Boxers. Number three, TT Madison. Welcome everybody to Brockton High Basketball. This is the girls varsity Brockton team going up against East Bridgewater Lady Viking basketball team. I'm Miles Jackson here at Staff Gymnasium and we'll be playing on Victor M. Ortiz court. This is the Lady Boxers first home game of the season and it should be an exciting one. We'll get to see what we have here for the year. As you know, the Lady Boxers come in here with just three seniors Two of them are out there on the court, um, Dingle and Cherry. We also got Madison, Wilson, and 
Yep, two Madisons. So we have two Madisons out there for Lady Boxers and Lady Boxers in their white uniforms. East Bridgewater is in their blue. So we'll get ready to have the tip off to start the 2021-22 season here at Staff Gymnasium. First shot is no good, rebounded there by Ngozi. And that's a boxer turnover. Playing guard there is the captain, Aaron Condon. And it looks like the boxers are playing man on man. The shot is good by Catellus, Phoebe Catellus, for the first two points of this season. Inside thrown away there by number three, Madison, fought for by East Bridgewater and Brockton, and East Bridgewater comes out of there. And here come the Lady Vikings. And she drives into the court and is fouled. That is number 10, Condon, and she will go to the basket for two. Two free throws. First one is no good. Shot is good. A three nothing Viking lead. Box is finding pressure and it pays off by the Vikings that they applied pressure on the inbound, full court press, and Brockton has a second turnover early in this ball game. Condon goes right into the court, the ball is knocked out of her hands, so it'll still be Vikings basketball. Condon will take it. Inbound to there, the number five shot is no good. Air ball, and the Lady Boxers come out of there with the basketball. That's number 23 inside, but back out. Long bomb is good! That is Madison, the guard. Two ball game, excuse me, three three ball game with 626. Shot inside is good. That was too easy. Brockton's got to do a better, better job inside on defense. Lady Boxes gets it past half court, tries to get it inside, but good defense by the Lady Vikings. And Dingle, Dingle will inbound it. and it'll be Lady Box's ball. Right now, the East Bridgewater Lady Vikings are smothering on defense for the boxes. They get it inside and they're gonna call traveling. Again, good defense by East Bridgewater. And they will get the basketball back with a 5-3 lead. Here at Staff Gymnasium, this is BCA Sports. I'm Miles Jackson. Shot is in and out. Looks like it could have been a three-point basket if she'd have made it. They're called traveling on uh, Cherry. And looks like she did kind of take a big extra step. And she'll come out and King will come in. Nevea King, a sophomore. Brockton has two seniors starting on this team. Stolen by Madison. And here come the Lady Boxes. Long pass to the corner. Shot is up and no good. 
Back come the Lady Vikings. Straight down the court, lays it up and in and out. Lady Boxers have it, here comes Dingle. Dingle stops, offense sets up. Long three is no good. That was by, by Madison. Box is back on defense. And they're gonna call a push. Push on number 23, Madison. And the Lady Vikings will inbound it underneath the basket. Shot is blocked by King. And here come the Lady Boxes. Long bomb is no good, but she gets her own rebound and couldn't save it. Vi Lady Vikings come up with the ball and back it goes to Brock in good defense by the Lady Boxes. Second five to three for a few minutes now. 4.69 left in this first quarter. Dingle passes way out. Contact, no call. Shot is missed. Bodies were on the ground, but no call. Long three is good. Nothing but nets. By number 23, Murphy Dingle. And it's gonna be a foul on the Lady Vikings. As she was cutting down the middle, it was hand contact. And you can see the coach for East Bridgewater, I believe that's Stephen Moore, talking to the referee. Madison with the ball, goes in the paint, throws it up. Good! High off the glass and in, nice shot by Madison. I believe that was Tyasia. Shot is inside, defense, but it'll be um, Lady Vikings ball. Good defense by the boxes. Lady Vikings trying to find somebody in the corner. Goes in strong. Gets back, gets back her own rebound and puts it in. That was Phoebe Kalidis. Three-pointer is good. That was number three, Madison. Lady Vikings up 10 to eight. And they're gonna call. They're gonna call a uh, moving pick, blocking foul on the Lady Vikings. So it'll be Box's ball. Aaliyah West, if you're in the building, the box weight dropping off the foyer. Aaliyah West, out to the foyer, please. Your mom is waiting. Boxes working it around. Dingle assesses it, goes up, stops, pops. No good. Rebound East Bridgewater, and here they come. Inside, little Kevin McHale hook, no good. Out comes Dingle and the Lady Boxes. Long three is no good. Boxes need to get some offensive boards here so they'll get more than one attempt. Long three is good! Wow. That was Murphy from downtown. And 
timeout by Coach Margaret Thatcher. I think that's a good timeout to talk to her Lady Boxes. So at 2.03 in the first quarter, we got a 13 to eight boxer deficit. Lady Box is getting smothered on defense. They've heated up on the three point shot in the last few minutes, but the Lady Vikings have been able to answer back with their own shooters from downtown. Got a good crowd tonight here at Staff Gymnasium. As you know, this Saturday evening, we've got a big Patriots game going on. Saturday night, prime time. Patriots play the Indianapolis Colts, and that should be a fun one. But right now, we got a good game right down here on David or excuse me, Victor Ortiz basketball court. Lady Boxes give it over half court. That's Carter. Dingle takes it. Shot it good! And she's fouled. Nice move by Dingle. Used her body to protect the basketball. Put up the shot, was fouled. And still made the shot. A 13 to 10 boxer deficit at the moment. Free throw attempt is no good. Here come the Lady Vikings. Stop and pop is no good. Rebound, Lady Boxes. Dingle leads to charge. She's gonna take a three and no good. And some tight defense, no call. And they're gonna finally call a push down there, I believe, on number 20, McNary White, senior, who's come in. Lady Vikings make a sub makes a substitution. Ball is inbound there to number four. They get it inside. And wow. I did not see any foul, but they're gonna call a foul on number 20. That was just good defense, folks. On oh, McNary White, right, on the foul. So number 14, Murphy will go to the free throw line to shoot two. Ball is inbound. Good defense by Lady Boxes, but Bridgewater gets it back. And they can call a foul in the paint on number, on number 10. That was King. The free throw line is Janitor, number four, a senior, and she misses her first free throw attempt. And her second free throw attempt is good. A four point lead by the um, Lady Vikings. Off the foot of the Lady Boxes, they get it back. They got it to Madison. Dingle, excuse me, that's uh, Kang with the ball. Shoots a two in and she is fouled. 
Oh, they're gonna call an offensive foul. I believe on number 11, Carter. So Lady Boxes unfortunately have another turnover. Got 30 seconds left in this first quarter. Boxes down by four. Box is playing some good defense. Lady Vikings winding down the clock and they're gonna call up number four or number four, maybe a legal block or pick. But eight seconds left and it's Lady Boxers basketball. As they'll try and get one. As Madison shoots it, no good. Shot is no good. So the first quarter ends. Fast and furious first quarter here at Staff Gymnasium. The Lady Boxers are on top, 14 to 10. This is Brockton Community Access Sports. I'm your announcer, Miles Jackson. Bring you all the high school lady basketball action down here on the South Shore. And the, I'll tell you, the Lady Vikings have been playing some tough defense on the boxes, they've had to earn every shot as the Lady Vikings has been in the Lady Boxers' faces playing tough defense. And this is a young boxer, Lady Boxer basketball team. There's only three seniors, two of them start, whereas the uh, Lady Vikings of East Bridgewater, they have six seniors on this basketball team. Three are starting. So the, excuse me, the East Bridgewater Lady Vikings have a little bit more experience than the Lady Boxers. This evening, so we'll see what Morgan Thatcher can do to elevate this Lady Boxer team to a victory. Lady Boxers will take it out. That's uh, Navia Ma Madison to Dingle. Stop and pop, no good. And it'll be the Lady Basketball, excuse me, the Lady Boxer team ball. Shot is stolen, not a good pass. Easy breakaway, lays it up and in. Box has got to be a little bit more careful on the inbound. Inside, nice pass. Maybe one too many. I believe Cherry could have put that in for an easy two. So Lady Vikings has it back. In the paint, no good. Good defense by the boxes, but Vikings come out of there with the rebound, but Cherry steals it, still has it. Gets it inside, lays it up and in! Nice pass by Cherry to number 14, Nousu. One of the Lady Boxes' captain. And she's a junior, but nice pass by Cherry. Back outside in the Lady Vikings throw it away. Good defense by the Lady Boxes. Sixteen to twelve with six minutes and forty-five seconds left in the second period. Inside, nice pass. And shot is missed inside by number 33, Montero. Nice pass though, inside. They just couldn't complete the play. Box is down by four. Inside and foul, that was a nice 
offensive boo by number 24, Phoebe. Phoebe Catellis, as she will go to the free throw line to shoot two. Makes her first free throw. Phoebe's a junior. And she makes both free throws. Dingle. Shot. No good by number 33 for the boxes. Montero. Fast break. Lays it up. No good. Fighting for the rebound, but East Bridgewater comes out of there with the ball, brings it out top, and they'll reset their offense. Shot is no good. And they're going to call a defensive foul on number three. They're going to call a push off when Madison went for the rebound. Number three. So number four for uh, East Bridgewater. That's on Schneider. Will be at the free throw line. Shoot a one-on-one. -on -one. Shot is no good. And Lady Vikings again get the rebound. And what you call it gets up slow. Catalyst, Catalyst, excuse me. She gets up a little slow and they might have to take her out. And she'll come out limping. Hopefully she's okay. And that's Petrulis in the game. Stolen! Lays it up and in! That was Madison, number three. Nice defensive. She anticipated that right away. And East Bridgewater calls a timeout. And I tell you, ever since that last timeout that Coach Morgan Thatcher called, Brockton has stepped it up a little bit. They're still down by four points, but um, they've stepped it up a little. So uh, right now, it's a nice steal. They get two with 5.36 left on the clock after that East Bridgewater timeout. along with uh, Coach Morgan Thatcher. His assistant coach, Adam Dackers, and another assistant coach, Jimmy Melton. And they're doing a fine job with these, with this young team this year. I know this is the first game, but you can tell they'll get better as time goes on. So, East Bridgewater will take it in, will inbound the ball. Boxes with a full court press. And almost stolen, but it'll be Lady, Lady uh, Vikings ball. So Coach Thatcher has gone to the full court press, press to see if uh, Boxes can get some easy baskets and make uh, the Lady Vikings work to bring it down court. Long three is no good. Cherry comes out of the pack with the ball. Gets it up forward. Uh, tried to get it to uh, Madison, but it was uh, blocked. Blocked out of bounds by um, East Bridgewater. Inside to Dingle. She brings it back out. Good defense by East Bridgewater. And they're gonna call three, look, they're gonna call a foul on number three, Madison, and she'll have to come out. As King comes in, number 10. Lady Vikings get it over. Nice, nice. Viking doing a nice job breaking that press methodically. King. She goes in strong, lays it up and in! King! 
Nice job going straight to the hoop in the paint for an easy two. Wow, from downtown, number five, Bradbury, Sophie. Dangle goes in, misses the shot, couldn't get the ball off the backboard. Back come the Lady Vikings on a fast break. Two-pointer is no good. Cherry with the rebound. Looks up, and it's stolen by the Lady Vikings. Inside, it's hammered by Cherry. Just a good hard foul. So number four, Schneider will go to the free throw line to shoot two with 346 left in the second quarter. Box is down 23 to 16. Schneider makes her first free throw attempt, an eight point boxer deficit. And she makes both free throws. Lady Vikings has some good free throw shooters. Taking advantage at the free throw line. Dingle. Back in the corner to King. Dingle at the top of the key. Bang! That's number 11. Carter. Box is being very patient on offense. Gets the crowd going. Box is down by seven. And good defense causes the boxer, excuse me, the East Bridgewater turnover. East Bridgewater has her own full court pass press. Cherry gets it over half court and is pushed on the play, so it'll be a foul. And I'm not sure if it's a one-on-one, -on -one, but we'll see. And it is, it is not, so it'll be taken out from the uh, sidelines by Cherry. Corner shot is good! Cherry! With the three pointer, 244, a four point Brock Bachton boxer deficit, 25 21. Box is down by four. Crowd is into it in the paint. Back out. Two pointer is no good. Rebound there by number 11, Carter. Does a nice job to get it to Dingle. Who's the ball handler? Back out. Inside. Shot is good! Inside! Ava Montero using her strength. With Lady Vikings on her and lays it up and in. Shot is no good. Re offensive rebound by the, and she throws it away on the good defense by the Lady Boxes. So it'll be Lady Boxer basketball with one minute, 49 seconds to go. A two, three point Lady Viking lead right at the moment. Crowds into it. The players are into it. And a timeout by East Bridgewater. And the Lady Boxers have really fought their way back in this ball game. Crowd gives them a nice little ovation. Just the sheer hustle, but also what has helped the Lady Boxers is their shooting inside the paint. 
and also outside the paint. They're playing some good defense, especially on the full court press, which has created a few turnovers for the Lady Boxers, and they just have to keep up that hype, and I'm sure Coach Thatcher is em emphasizing that to them as they sit on the sidelines listening to their head coach. Okay, it'll be Brockton Ball. As Cherry will take it out. Abby Cherry, one of the spark plugs on this starting um, Lady Boxer team. Cherry. And it's gonna call jump ball. Yes. The quickest jump ball I've seen. So it'll be the uh, East Bridgewater Inbounding. Two point boxer deficit. They try to get it inside, a little flip, no good. They get it out quickly. Here comes Dingle and the Lady Boxes. Skip throws it up and in! Blocking foul. What a shot by Dingle. That was hard. I mean, that was a tough shot. And somehow she still made it. She'll go to the free throw line. Boxes, it's a tie ball game. 25-25 with 1.22 on the clock. Malaysia Dangle really stepped up here in the second quarter. And a jump ball. Nice job by Wusu. One of our other captains who's a junior. And it's um, box of possession. has the ball. Cherry. And it's off Cherry's. No, it's off her foot, but it went off a, a Lady Viking. So a break there for the Lady Boxes. I thought it went off a of Cherry's foot, but the referee's a little bit closer than I am. Dingle. Inside, in the paint, back out. And good hustle by both teams. As Carter was in there on the floor, fighting for the ball, but his possession, East Bridgewater. One minute left in this ball game, still tied. Long bomb is no good. Here comes King. Throw is it in! Three! She's got ice in her veins. Wow. 28-25, Lady Boxers take the lead for the first time in this ball game, I believe. And that, that was off East Bridgewater's foot. And the referees are saying, it's Lady Box's ball. And a great, great teamwork by the, by the referees. Here at Staff Gymnasium as the other ref came over and let them know what the correct call would be. So 22 seconds left. Box is trying to increase their lead in the corner. No good by King. Cherry with rebound, back out. Dingle, shaking. Cherry, eight seconds on the shot clock. She throws it up. No good, rebound boxes, no good. 
Here come the Lady Vikings, and the shot is no good. And the half, first half has ended. Very exciting first half as the boxers take a three-point lead on sheer effort and determination that last couple of minutes to have the lead at 28-25. So this is Miles Jackson. We'll be back with second half Lady Basketball action in a moment. Welcome back, everybody, to second half action here at Staff Gymnasium down on Victor Ortiz Court. We got a good one here, 28-25. Lady Boxer in the lead beginning this third quarter. East Bridgewater has the ball. They get it inside, throws it up and in. Nice move there by Bradbury, Sophie Bradbury. Lady Boxer's up by one inside the cherry. Stops, backs out, good defense by East Bridgewater. Long three is no good. And a defensive rebound there by the Lady Vikings. Back they come quickly. Back outside, long bomb is no good. Offensive rebound, back out in the paint, lays it up in no good, De good defense. And they're gonna call a foul on the floor. I saw a lot of tippy-toeing, but referees saw the contact. So the Lady Vikings will inbound it from underneath the basket. Inside, nice block by number 14 for Bridgewater. Nwosi taken back quickly. Good defense, and good defense by the Lady Boxers. It's back and forth, great defense by both teams. From the three, no good. That surely would have brought the fans to their feet early on in the third quarter. Stolen again by Lady Boxes. Not a good pass by East Bridgewater. Tried to get into the paint. Smartly played. Oh, that would have been a nice pass. A little bit too low for her teammate to get it. And good defense. And they're going to call it out of bounds on the Lady Boxes. So the Lady Vikings will take it out from underneath in the corner. Back outside, she's calling for a three-point. Bang! She knew why she wanted it. Trying to see who that was. That was number five, Bradbury for uh, East Bridgewater. Stolen by the Lady Vikings. And it's, it's East Bridgewater's basketball. Nice play by the Lady Boxers to break it up. Right now, early on in this game, it's been more of a defensive battle than offense. Back out top. In the corner. Inside, throws it up and no good. Nice play there by Madison. Here she comes. Dangle with the ball. Dingle shakes bank, puts it inside, nice pass. Shot is good. It was a close three second call, but Lady Box has got the job done. That was number 20, I believe number 23. Madison who took the shot from outside, lays it up and no good. It's a great move to the basket by the, and no communication there, somebody should have told her that there was a defender right behind him, and there's a foul there on the arm. Lady Box has got to do a little bit better job on communicating when they bring that ball down, especially when there's a Lady Viking trailing, lurking in the shadows, and it paid off. Good defense by the uh, East Bridgewater team. Out top. Takes the three, no good. East Bridgewater, oh. That was just a breakdown in defense right there. And Coach Thatcher did not like it. And I don't blame her. That just was a total breakdown on defense. Box has got to be a little bit more aware when that inbounds ball comes in and then, you know they like to work it inside. East Bridgewater ladies, they like to work it inside. So Box has got to be a little bit more careful or how they 
play their defense. Five minutes, five seconds left in this third quarter. A lot of action in this game on both sides. Right now, the Lady Vikings of East Bridgewater has a one-point lead, 32-31. And the way it looks, it looks like who's going to take advantage on the defensive opportunities and uh, capitalize on those defensive um, plays. I think that's what it might come down to. And the late boxes have the basketball. Down by one. Madison with the ball. In the corner, Dingle. Shot, no good by Carter. Back come the Lady Vikings. And double triple. And Ava Montero gets a break. It's number 12, Ashley. And I'm not going to try to pronounce her last name at the moment. But Ashley is in the game. Shot is no good. Nice steal. And lays it up in. What a play by Madison. Number three just took the rebound away from the East Bridgewater player. Pass it off to her teammate, and she lays it up and in. Almost stolen. Oh. Whoa, that was close. That was a tick tack foul. Good defense by uh, Dingle. And Kane comes in and gives uh, Cherry a break. And it'll be uh, East Bridgewater's ball. Boxes up by 133-32. East Bridgewater will inbound it from underneath. They get it back out top. East Bridgewater has the has a set spread out, but Brockton responded well as number 10 for East Bridgewater. Aaron Condon tries to drive to the hoop, but a good defensive play by the Lady Boxes. They get the ball back with 3.46 on the clock here in the third quarter. Inside, stolen by Condon. Oh, nice defensive play. Here comes Dingle in the Lady Boxes. And a foul as Dingle got a hand to the face. As she's trying to shake it off. And the Boxers will have it underneath. That's Ashley underneath with the inbound pass, looking for someone. Can't find him, finally finds someone. King takes it from outside, no good. Fast break, and it's gonna be a foul, I believe, on number three, Madison. Wow. Tough break there for the Lady Boxers. Looked like a good defensive play. And 
Dingle comes out and is going to be checked out as, as she was hit in the face. First shot is no good. I believe that's uh, Amanda Murphy at the free throw line. Nope, number 24, that's Phoebe Catillus. Phoebe makes the free throw attempt and just not a good pass by the Lady Boxes. Cherry, I don't know what happened there, just some miscommunication because that was not a good pass. Tie score with 3.15 on the clock, 33-33. Wow, oh, Cherry with the block. Nice play by Cherry. Kang with the bomb, no good. Back comes the East Britain, and Condon has it. Nice pass, but nice play. And they're gonna call it out of bounds. Gee, that was a great effort by Kang to try to steal that ball. Broke up the fast break. So East, Bridge, East Bridgewater will inbound it. Shot is air ball, no good. Rebound Madison in the corner. In the paint, shot, no good. And it'll be East Bridgewater's ball. That was Carter in there, in the paint. They get it back out to their captain, back in the outside, inside, lays it up and in. There's a whistle and a foul. That was number 23 for uh, the Lady Vikings. Hallie Murphy, or Haley Murphy, excuse me, who will shoot two. First free throw is good. Again, this East, Bridge, East Bridgewater team, a very good free throw shooting team. As we can see, they've taken advantage at the free throw line this evening. Have made most of their free throw attempts. Makes another one. And time out, East Bridgewater with 2.21 left in this third quarter. East Bridgewater has a two point lead, 35-33. This is BCA Sports. I'm Miles Jackson, bringing you all the high school action here at Staff Gymnasium. And we've got a good one going here. First game of the season for the Lady Boxers. They like nothing more than come out of here with a home win with this very young team that they have. Again, they have two seniors starting. I believe East, Bridge, East Bridgewater has three seniors starting. They're a little bit more experienced. But right now, the Brockton Lady Boxers are giving them a run for their money this evening. Coach Morgan Thatcher has her team playing at a high level pitch. Cherry will take it inbounds. Will bring it inbounds. Full court, full court press by East Bridgewater. Cherry gets it past half court. And they're going to call a foul. Foul on the floor before the shot, so it will be inbound underneath the basket by Ashley. Number 12, trying to find somebody and throws it right to Condon. Not a good pass by Ashley. And Condon is out top, directing traffic. Long bomb is no good. Lady Boxers need to go after that basketball. 
They did get the rebound. Almost stolen. And she is fouled. That's number one, Shania Gardner, a sophomore who has just come in recently, will go to the free throw line and shoot two. No fear going in the paint for Ron Gardner. She makes her first free throw attempt. Boxes down by one with a minute 37 to go here in the third quarter. And the second free throw is good. Sophomore shows good shooting form there at the free throw line. Makes two very important two points right there. Tie score. Nice defense there. And boxes come out of there with it. Kane with it. Ah, uh, ah, uh, come on. That that was. If we had replay, you could see King tried to avoid the contact, very little contact. But a good job by the defensive um, stance right there. Wasn't a lot of contact, but refs call the charge. Box of fans have come alive. And Condon lays it up and in. Good movement by Condon. Shot is no good, air ball. Uh, I think she should have waited until a few more of her teammates got underneath the basket. That was Carter with the shot, I believe. Boxes back on defense. They get it inside. Shot is missed, easy, a nice play, but East Bridgewater could not take advantage. Still their basketball. Box has got to play a little bit more better defense inside the paint. 37 seconds left in this third period. Ah, uh, that was too easy. Like I said, Lady Box has got to do a better job when that inball impass comes in. Shot again. No good by Carter. Three seconds on this, and they're gonna call a foul with three seconds left on the shot clock. A foul was called on the lady boxes, a tough break right there. Good defense, there was only three seconds left on the shot clock before time would have ran out. And Condon goes to the free throw line. Condon, a senior, you can definitely tell she's a leader on this basketball court. Great guard for uh, East Bridgewater. Misses her free throw attempt. And time runs out here in the third quarter where East Bridgewater Lady Vikings has taken a four point lead, 39-35 with one quarter to go. Very exciting basketball game down here on the South Shore at Staff Gymnasium. Miles Jackson bringing you all the ladies action here on Victor Ortiz basketball court. Crowds into it, the players are into it. I'm sure we're gonna have a great, great fourth quarter coming up. Boxes in their home opener. Trying to eke out a win on this veteran East Bridgewater team. And you can see Coach Thatcher talking to her, talking to her team, emphasizing what needs to be emphasized. Right now, the possession arrow goes to the Lady Boxes. So if there's a jump ball or like that, it'll be 
Lady, backs, lady uh, boxes basketball. And it looks like the Lady Boxers will inbound it. Dingle will inbound the ball. That's Madison in the paint. King and jump ball. Good call there. And it'll be East Bridgewater's ball. Long three is good. Got a big basket right there by number 11. Ali Pachulis. Two pointer is no good. And East Bridgewater comes out of there with the ball. They press it up hard. Back out top. Long bomb is good! Wow. Number five, Sophie Bradbury hits a bomb from downtown. Pushes that lead up to 10 all of a sudden. Stolen by the Lady Viking. Lays it up and in. Easy basket. And Coach Thatcher calls a timeout. Shot with nice steal by Phoebe. Tell us. And what a defensive and offensive stretch, mini stretch that was there at the um, beginning of that fourth quarter. There's seven minutes left in this ball game, and all of a sudden, Lady Vikings have a 12 point lead early on in this fourth quarter. Because of their just great hustle on defense and aggressive offense, and they made their shots. Lady Bucks gonna have to counter that. They're gonna have to protect that basketball much better than what they've done in the last minute or two. They really need to protect that basketball, take care of it when they're on offense, and emphasize a little bit more um, defense and especially offensive rebounding. They need to, they can't just afford to take one shot and that's it, come back down to court. They need to get a couple of attempts they need to get a couple of attempts uh, at the uh, basket when they have it on offense. Because the East Bridgewater team has done a great job playing defense on the boards. So here we go. Dingle with pressure. Goes to the basket. Oh! She didn't finish it, folks. Just kind of ran out of gas as she laid it up. Didn't even make it to the backboard. Shot is no good. Defense, great defense by the Lady Boxes. But here comes another bomb. It's good. What a clutch shot by Haley Murphy. That was way out. Lead pass is lost out of bounds. And Cherry comes back in. And I tell you, East Bridgewater is taking advantage when uh, Cherry is out. No good rebound over the back by one of the East Bridgewater players. And fouled was number 14, Nawusu. The junior. Right now the possession arrow is to the Lady Boxes. Cherry in the paint, back out. Little floater, no good offensive board. Good, and that's what they need. 
Nwusu needs to, and company, she did a great job staying camped out underneath when the ball was shot and got the offensive board. Laid it up. 13 point boxer deficit. Long bomb is no good. So Cherry will inbound the ball. Ooh, almost stolen. In the paint, and she is foul. That was Madison. Tasia Madison. So Madison will shoot two. This is the fourth quarter with five minutes left. When you're down by 13 points, you need to make free throws. They come become very critical. And East Bridgewater comes out of there with the ball. In the corner, no good. Nobody really for the Lady Boxers went after that ball. But East Bridgewater did, that's why they have it at the top with 4.55 on the clock. I'm sure the game plan is right now to use a little bit of that clock, it's in their favor. Ball stolen by the Lady Boxes. And here comes Dingle. Dingle steps back, pops, no good. That was a nice move, just couldn't hit the shot. Back up the Lady Boxes. Back inside. Spin. Whoa. Nice spin move there. That looked like a Kevin McHale move from the past. Stolen by the Lady Back. And good! Oh, they're hammering the Lady Boxes right now. That was number five. Bradbury in. They're playing offense. They're playing defense. They're doing it all here in the fourth quarter as it's a 55-37 Lady Vikings lead. And the experience is really cashing in for the Lady Vikings as they know they have to really put the pressure. They know when to put the pressure on this young Lady Boxer team and it's paying off here late in the fourth quarter. 55-37. Coach, Coach Thatcher trying to fire up its team. I tell you, with the leadership of their guard, Aaron Condon, the, the uh, captain, one of the captains, the cap, oh, excuse me, the captain. She's done a great job along with Phoebe. Catalyst, Catalyst, number 24, the forward. She's done a great job inside, along with the rest of the team. That they've all chipped in. It's been a definite team effort on this um, East Bridgewater team. Inside and thrown out of bounds. Not a good start there after that timeout by by the Lady Boxes. Box is putting pressure. Yep, you can see the coach tell them to pull it out. Clock's in their favor with 3.45 on the clock. Oh, stolen. Dingle brings it back out to King. Dangle. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Air ball by King.
Boxers need more offensive rebounding late in this ball game. They basically all night for the most part have just shot one attempt. Oh, nice block. But they're gonna give it back to the Lady Boxers. It's out of bounds. But again, I emphasize, Lady Boxers haven't done a good job on the offensive boards. Basically, it's been a one shot done for the most part. And it's tough to win basketball games like that. King gets in the paint, takes a shot, blocking foul. So she'll go to the free throw line. The possession arrows in the boxer favor. Ooh, in and out. Boxers just haven't had a good day at the free throw line today compared to uh, East Bridgewater. So I'm sure Coach Thatcher will work on that. This is the first game of the season. It's early on. Second attempt is no good, but Cherry inside. Nice pass. And who's that? Number 23. Madison makes the shot. And timeout. Coach Thatcher in the Lady Boxes. She brings her team in. A 55-39. Lady Viking lead with 2.39 on the clock. The score doesn't really represent how close this basketball game was until about two minutes into the fourth quarter. This is a tight ball game. Boxers fought back early on to take the lead. Third quarter, basically back and forth but the experience of this East Bridgewater team that last minute of the third quarter and into the fourth quarter was just too much for the um, young Lady Boxer team. boxes here they come inside to <clears throat> they, she was trying to get it inside the cherry and she just couldn't get over there long pass is knocked out of bounds by the lady boxes Bridgewater retains the basketball with two minutes, 23 seconds left. Easy two by number five. But well, it wasn't that easy, it was just a good drive to the basket. And the paint, in and out. It's almost stolen by Dingle, but East Bridgewater retains the basketball. And we've got two minutes to go in this ball game. Condon. The veteran guard in the paint, lays it up and in. And East Bridgewater gets back. No, no full court press. Madison throws it up and in, off the glass. He does a three point play, 59-42. Coach tells his, her, his team to bring it back out. Burn off some of that clock. Very well coached East Bridgewater team. And here come the Lady Boxes, Dingle. In the corner to Cherry, and timeout. Coach Thatcher calls a timeout. 
with 103 on the clock. Box is down by 17, 59-42. Hopefully the boxers can learn something from this, from this defeat, this defeat this evening. He wasn't able to bring the bring the high school a win this afternoon, this evening, but a good effort. There's a lot of improvement, but a very promising lady boxer basketball team you've seen this evening. They can only get better. Being as young as they are. <laughs> it's Carter, she will, Carter will inbound it. Carter takes the long bomb, no good. And it'll be a foul on Madison. Rebound boxes. Nice easy two by Madison. Took, it, took advantage of the defensive breakdown. And we have a timeout by uh, Coach Thatcher again. She did not like something, what she saw, and she's letting her team know Coach Stature with a stellar career here at Brockton High as a basketball player and I believe as a volleyball player too. And she's trying to instill the enthusiasm and aggressiveness that she played with back when she was a student here at Brockton High. So 42 seconds left to go. Lady Vikings. They're working around. 32 seconds left. Woo! Wow. 15 seconds left on the shot clock. 25 on the uh, game clock. Madison fouls. Number five for uh, East Bridgewater. That's Brad, Sophie Bradbury will go to the free throw line and shoot two. And I believe Madison has fouled out. Great effort on Madison's part. Good hustle. Wow, nobody blocked out the, the free throw shooter. Spin move, no good, gets her own rebound, puts it up and in. That was Madison. And that's it. Clock runs out on the Lady Boxes here in their own open, their home opener as they lose to the East Bridgewater Viking, Lady Viking, 61 to 46. And it, like I, again, I said it was closer than what it actually says up until about the fourth quarter. And East Bridgewater's uh, veteran experience came through and um, shut down this game as far as being close. So this is Miles Jackson here at Brockton High School. I'd like to thank our BCA sports crew of Emma Reardon and Athena Grant doing a great job giving us the pictures here at 
Brockton High. Until next time, everybody, we'll see you later.